will herd them up onto land somewhere over in this area. Okay. Once they get out up on land over here, we're gonna we got these nets that we'll surround them with. And once they're surrounded by the nets, then we'll start pulling them out one by one and putting a band on them. Okay. Some of them will already have bands because we do it here every year. And we'll, we'll read out the numbers that are on those. And then the, the ones that don't have a band, we have a bunch of young birds. We have 30 young birds at least. So we'll put new bands on them. Okay. And then they'll get turned loose right back to the thing and away they go. The department has a program where we ban Canada geese every year. It's an important program because the information obtained from these bands tells us a lot about the geese that are here in Kentucky. With the Canada geese, we're trying to get a better understanding of their survival, um, trying to understand where they migrate to. There's a domestic goose in here that somebody brought and dumped out here. Oh, yeah. And so it's going to go to a new home. So we only put bands on wild birds. We make a strong effort during this goose banding period to have younger folks come out and see the process. It just seemed pretty different, something that I hadn't got a chance to do before, and I just want to see it firsthand. Do you see there are two other birds here that are not Canada geese? Yeah. Which ones? Um, those two right there, because they've got white on them. Yep, see that little white around the yeah. front? I bet that bird that he just chased down Bread had babies with Canada. It was great to have Caitlin there. It was her first chance to come out and band with us and to see the banding process. Look at this bird right here. Is that a young bird or adult? That's a young, and that's a young. Okay, what about this one? It's in the middle, right? It's in the middle, which means it's this, it's a young one too. Yeah. See this little bit of down here? Yeah, the down is it, in the middle. But he also, the sides here, there's no bars. We'll show you an adult in a minute that the adults will have bars. But the face has a little bit of black flecking in the cheek patch. And then if you look at their feathers, see how skinny that feather is? Yeah. On an adult, we'll have a... Thicker. Oh, uh, we'll have a thicker one. For somebody like me, that was how I got hooked into this profession. Is at the early age, I got to go and be involved in something like that, and I knew this was what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Mr. Brunges, he told me a lot about the process of how they band them. He taught me how to actually put the band on. Squeeze a little bit, not too hard, but just want it to go a little bit. There you go, stop. Now switch and do it the same way on the other side. Okay. It's important to kind of understand that these aren't just in one place. They are a migratory bird, that they, they do have, you know, roots and wild birds and that do behave as wild bird populations. It's important for her to kind of know that. So we're just going to remove this fishing line here. It looks like it's, it's not quite embedded in the skin yet, so, um, so this bird's going to be okay. It didn't get deep enough. When it gets really deep, it'll, it'll um, cut off the blood supply and then the tissue will just become necrotic and die off. We really ask fishermen to be very vigilant, um, to remove as much of the fishing line as possible if they get it hooked on something, to try, try to remove the fishing line and not leave it in the water um, because birds can get caught on it and it can become a big problem. See how they're cutting that fishing line? Yeah. That's what happens, people leave fishing line behind and birds get caught in it. But thankfully not deep enough yet to penetrate the skin and cut off the blood supply completely. So, um, so thankfully this one's gonna be okay. But it's it was different. Like, I've seen geese just walking around and stuff, but I've never been able to actually handle them. I've seen lots of people carry geese that, uh, big, strong men that the geese beat them. Just got in there like the rest of them. And she reached right in there and grabbed the first bird and hung on to it. I did not expect to be able to actually hold them and be able to actually band them myself. It was really different. Remember I showed you earlier? The wings, Yeah. see how much broader that feather yeah. is? The other thing is, see this big knob right here? That's a very male characteristic. When they have a big pointy knob like that. When we manage wildlife, we're also managing people. And for people, to, for her, forever, she will carry this knowledge of how we do this, why we do this, and that kind of thing. So in the future, if she's talking to somebody, she can say, hey, this is why they do this. It's not, it's not mean, it's not whatever. But again, it has that nice barring on the side. Tells me it's an adult, He's and his fighter. and his head is nice and clean. There's no black fleck in the head. There's a reason behind this, and so the more people I can reach, and the more people we can talk to about this process and why we do it, and that it makes everybody's life better. I love anything to do with the outdoors. I love to hunt, fish, 
anything I can get a hold of. My dad, he started me early, real young. I thank him a lot for that because I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have the outdoors.